Do you want to be able to take animations from old school RuneScape and various other assets and then place them into Blender for use in animations or thumbnails or anything like that? Then this is the tutorial for you. By the end of this tutorial, you are going to be able to use a tool called Quodat to be able to export various animations from old school RuneScape into Blender. Let's roll the intro. Now the first thing that you're going to need to do is to download and install Quodat. Now I have a link available in my Discord. So you can make your way there and enter the Blender file section and download it straight from there. Then extract the files and you are good to go. Your next step is to open Quodat. To do this, you need to navigate to the bin folder and then open the Quodat batch file. Quodat will open and it may prompt you to download a particular version of the game cache. See how it goes when it opens for you. It hasn't done that for me. It's been all fine every single time. Once you have the program open, there's a couple of things to draw your attention to. Firstly, on the right hand side is everything you need. The left hand side just contains some necessary information and in the center of the screen is your preview. On the right hand side, you'll see a list of IDs on the left hand corner of it, which are all the various animations that you can load. You'll see the colors available. And if you look at the bottom, you'll see several tabs. These are different areas that you can search in the game's cache. So for example, you could go into your NPC section and type in Commander Zilliana and then bring that up and that will bring up that character. From there, at the top, you can select an animation that will be displayed on Commander Zilliana. From here, right click the model in that bottom box and then you have two options. You can export a still or you can export an OBJ sequence. In this case, we are going to export the sequence. Down the bottom, there is a little section that says open file directory and that will take you to exactly where your model was exported. All right, now you have the files. So now what we need to do is make our way over to Blender. Now importing these animations is not quite as simple as you would think on the surface. This isn't an animation with a rigged armature. Instead, this is an animation that is made using shape keys, which means the actual model itself has different shapes that are locked in and keyframed. To load these animations into Blender, we need to use a special add-on. It's called the OSRS OBJ sequence. It's available also in my Discord under the Blender files section and is really easy to install. All you gotta do is go over to edit, preferences, and then click the add-ons tab, install and navigate to where you downloaded the file. It's as easy as that. Just make sure the box is ticked. If you have any difficulties installing add-ons, there's, there's hundreds of tutorials on it. So you're not gonna have too much trouble with that. Once you have that installed, you want to make your way to file, import, and then OSRS OBJ sequence. Once you've got it imported, you're not quite done yet. There is another step to this sequence, and that step involves making sure that light reacts properly to it. When you have the model just plain in Blender from the cache, it has a lot of lighting problems. What you have to do is turn off smoothing. And specifically, you need to go to the vertex tab, go to normals, and there's a section called smooth normals. Untick that box and your model will be perfect. And there you have it. You can now import old school RuneScape animations into Blender. 